can't hold brief for them. I can't speak for them. But what I see, the only person that I know is a politician is Desmond Odushala Elliott, who is a member of the Lagos State House of Assembly. Well, everybody is a politician, but the one, the partisan politician that we know, that, of, that is of note, is Desmond Elliott, because he's in the House. Um, well, um, one can get involved in governance, not necessarily seeking political office, that is partisan politics. You can get appointed, for instance, you can, if I become governor, I can make you special advisor on, on media or information. So then it doesn't say you're a politician. You can go in as a technocrat. So, but um, I think everybody has their own ambition and uh, the overview of life, what they want to do with themselves, whether they are in Nollywood or not. Um, but <clears throat> politics is for everybody. Be you um, a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer. It's even interesting to note that we don't even find graduates of political science in politics. The only one of note was the former Senate president, Dr. Chuba Okadibo. He was a political scientist. But you just find those sort of people in politics, lawyers, engineers, doctors, actors, and uh, what have you. And some, even um, Agberos. Yeah, everybody is playing politics because it's the biggest business in Nigeria um, above um, religion. Because religion too is big business in Nigeria. I think it's, um, I think it's very wrong and cruel for anybody to attack um, anyone on uh, the person's stand or belief in the political engineering. Uh, everybody has a right to support any candidate. It's very wrong um, for the public to attack uh, those who support political candidates. Um, because they even have their own choices. So why are you attacking anyone? What everybody needs is get hold of your PVC, get out on election day and vote your preferred candidate. So simple. So why would anybody go on social media especially and howl insults on people for um, endorsing candidates? It's wrong. But there's nothing we can do to it. It's the pulse of the nation. So Nigerians run on that, uh, that cloak of um, pretense to want to uh, misbehave, but I, I don't think it's right. We all have uh, reasons for doing what we do. As long as everything is done within the confines of the law, so nobody has a right to insult anybody. Nobody has a right to drag anybody. Nobody has a right to call anybody out on social media. You leave them as there. After all, the actors are not the ones in government. But okay, we may influence people, but um, all the same, we still have right to support who we want. And everybody has access to social media anyway. So if I'm supporting you and uh, my brother here, so finally, it's all well and good. Freedom of expression, freedom of association. Yeah, it should, but I can't be too sure that it counts here. It should. Uh, that is why Nigerians would cast their vote and remain at the polling booth to see that the votes are counted before them. And they even snap, it's as bad as that. They snap the sheets, seeing the results, and they post <laughs> on social media. But it shouldn't be that, it shouldn't be that crude, it shouldn't be that raw. But it is what it is, this is Nigeria. Before the transportation of the ballot box to the collection center, a lot happens. So Nigerians just want to supervise. There's nothing wrong, cast your votes and go home. Yeah, but, um, but whether um, we do all of that, the powers that be will still swing the decision in their favor. That is what happens here. This is Nigeria now. Politics in Nigeria is for the very wealthy people, high and mighty, and then maybe their stooges. The amount of idobaleng for people at the top may catapult you. The, along the corridor of powers. Ah, Omodadani, ah, he's very loyal. Only respect. 
and then an electrician becomes a member of the House of Assembly because he's been doubling for the powers that be. And then the next thing, the electrician too becomes honorable. Uh, that one too will now be looking for people to double for him. So it's a vicious cycle. But you see how some good, um, um, well groomed, very articulate men and women who are in politics. They are a beauty to build. For instance, check the vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He's the best that anybody can, can flaunt from this country. Talk about Fashola. Yeah, you know, great, great minds. And see how many like that. You know, I don't know why Adewumi Adeshino is not like a president of Nigeria. You know, world class individuals, you know, global brands. But good guys don't get to that office. It's for the tough and the rugged. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, that, that's a very, that would be a wrong assertion or in, impression or assumption. No. You see, this endorsement thing, I would say, is an individual thing. I may stand up today and say I'm endorsing RMD as president of Nigeria. That's who I want. That's my choice. So you can't say, you know, and when you talk about celebrities, for instance, I'm not a celebrity. I'm just a popular face. Um, because if I were a celebrity, I will have come here with an entourage, like, like 20 cars, bodyguard, and all of that, you know? You see the way Davido moves? Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. So I'm not a celeb, I came here, only me and my God. <laughs> so, but I accept that I'm a, very, I'm, I'm a popular face. So, um, but, and I have the right to my opinions, I have the right to endorse any candidate of my choice without anybody attacking me. I don't see the reason for attacking me, for making a choice. Just like people who attack, make their own choices. So who attacks them? So that's the thing. And mind you, these attackers are all pretenders. When they see these candidates in their areas, within their vicinities, they troop all out to demand money. So when they are giving the, the, the crumbs, they mortgage their lives and their existence at least for the next four years. So why are they crying blue mother? Because everything is monetized. Even in Nigeria, to seek ways. Just ask, where is TVC? Ask for anyone, ah, a Jukole Fawa. Because I see TVC is down the road. You know, so so Niger the psyche of the average Nigeria is so bastardized that everybody thinks about money. And in most cases, this, this, a lure of crass materialism is the bane of the country, especially amongst the youth. If we are crying that those in government, those who administer Nigeria are wasteful, they are ostentatious, they embezzle, they misappropriate our funds, but check those that are not in government. Check the youth of Nigeria. You will see a young lad in his early 20s in SUVs and he cannot explain how he has come about the vehicle. What has this guy done to buy this vehicle? He can't explain. So many see the ladies, they live in posh areas, they don't have any, any definable work they do. But we all understand how it comes you know, to that level. Everybody, everything is arrogated to the ruling class. Oh, they ruin Nigeria. But within us, what are we doing to checkmate them? Because for every leader, there is a follower. And then you should hold your leaders accountable, especially those in, in position of authority. Hold them accountable. Ask questions. Tell, ask, tell them, charge at them. You are not doing it right. But rather than the youth doing that, they go there to ask for money. And those ones have banks not just money they own the banks not though they are you ah uh, okay you don't have a car yeah go and carry that uh, suv and the guy is jubilating <laughs> yeah you they then give you brand brandy some just for a meal they they they, they mortgage their existence and they are the ones who will now run on social media and be crying foul they insult people 
you know. They don't even have real names. So you imagine when you check their names, you, you can't even go, they can, you can't see you can't you can't see the names. So why are they? And let me tell you, those who control Nigeria today have been in power for decades in their twenties, thirties, and they are still the ones ruling this country. But you think it's easy to give way for the teaming you to come in? You fight your way in there. You fight in your way. Nobody is going to give it to you on a platter of gold. Desmond Elliott found his way. He's there. His thinking will be so different now. Now that he's there, as against when he was just, you know, on set as an actor. So, um, I think the, the youth of Nigeria which constitutes 60% of the population actually owes the ace, but they do not know how to use it.